Today, I'm here to tell you that the title is not clickbait, that I am actually receiving death threats for a recent video. Um, they're, they've threatened me, they've called me, they've told me they know where I live and provided some evidence that they, uh, have, that they know where I am. Um, and uh, basically has told me that I need to take down a, a recent video in order to uh, not have the, anything happen. Um, so, uh, you know, having, having death threats against me is, is kind of a uh, little weird and different. And so today I'm here to let everybody know that um, as a result of getting death threats, um, I'm just going to tell the organization to kiss my ass. That's right. I don't need your fucking bullshit. I don't believe that you are part of the Mexican cartel. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The cartel doesn't advertise what they do or provide evidence, you dumb fuck. Look. I'm going to tell you all about this organization. I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't do business with them. Because, yeah, it's a business. A business. Um, this is America that I live in. And in America, we have capitalism and commerce laws. And kiss my fucking ass. Because I'm going to tell you what we're doing. Now, the organization you do not want to do business with is this one right here. It's VWLiftKits.com. They're threatening me to take down a recent video that I did, the last video I did, where I don't recommend them because they're overpriced. Now, when this video came out, I had, or when I got these threats, I had 118 views. I'm sitting here, are you kidding me? 118 views and you're threatening me? You know what? It would have been a one and done thing. I'd have been over. But you dumbasses sit there and say, oh, don't do that. We're going to threaten you. Get, take it down or else. And I'm going to go through the whole thing. I'm going to tell the whole story like I've already told the police. And yeah, I got footage of that too. All right. So here we are at the police department and we're going to go in there and we're going to file a complaint against somebody who's sitting there trying to intimidate me at, at business, no less. So we're going to do this right. We're going to take care of this and we're going to put them under a microscope. Hi. Yeah, I'd like to file a talk to somebody about filing, filing a complaint. I uh, have somebody online who's sending me death threats. Okay. Let's go to um, what happened. So I did a review on this channel, or talking about what you know what VW lift kit offered in their lifting for a Volkswagen uh, Stage Four Bug, Mark IV Bug, Jetta, and uh, Golf. And at the end, I said, I don't recommend them. I just think they're overpriced. That's all I said. I don't recommend them. Uh, you know, in that I was going to show you another way that you could get parts. And that video is upcoming. It was supposed to come out at the time of this video. But instead, I've put it off a day. We're going to go back to, I get a message from, from Facebook that somebody, Volkswagen, wants to connect through Messenger. Because obviously, we're not friends. And uh, this comes up. And this is, like I said, through Facebook Messenger, you fucked up, don't mess with Ponce. Now, I had to do some research, but Ponce is the guy who developed the, the lift kit for this car, some race car driver, Mexican race car driver, gives me a link and call him to apologize. The link, which is down in the description below, is um, actually to, uh, in fact, let's bring it up. All right, so let's just take a quick look here at this. Uh, this is a, a snip of a three-minute uh, thing that basically, um, yeah, that they're, they're saying that I shouldn't do. It's from high school star to Mexican drug cartel. But authorities say La Barbie is involved in drug smuggling, money laundering, and against rival gang members, murder. Police say you can hear La Barbie's voice interrogating these men just before they're executed. I, uh, so I'm supposed to call him and prepare. Well, I didn't see any phone numbers. And then all of a sudden, get ready. Get ready for what? 
So next I get a, um, a voicemail on, on my business phone number. Um, and it, it, my voicemail will turn it into words. So I did that and I don't speak Spanish. So I had to put it through Google Translate. This is what I got. Hey, what's up? Gregorio is looking for the poster. He in Mexico for your mom and to give you. Okay, so I don't speak Spanish. Um, so let's look at the, the actual thing up here. It says, I see cartel in Mexico for mama. Okay, so I'm getting you, you're threatening my mom and you're part of the cartel um, because of that video, blah, blah, blah. You know, if you're going to threaten somebody, you should at least know how to threaten them so that they know what the hell they're being threatened with. Yeah, fucking moron. In the interim, I got a whole bunch, and I'll play that clip for you of that, because if you want to see what it actually said, maybe you could let me know. I got a few more voicemails uh, coming through uh, throughout the night and stuff, but you know what I did? Now, I know I'm being threatened at this point, and my phone's vibrating all night. I got to get up for work the next day. I took the phone off the dresser that was vibrating and threw it on a sweatshirt on the floor, and I slept like a baby. Hey, John Dagray, audio. Next, I get a, um, a series of, of uh, emails, uh, messages again back from Volkswagen. Uh, copycat, check your cam on the address, uh, Bongo, CF6, whatever that is, leave alone Vato, again, the address, when you hit the knee, tap it hard. I got a knee for you, here, right there, man, give it a good old kiss. We found his pad, watching now. Marika Vado, you fucked up. You have no idea who you in another video. Um, so this video is the end of my it says Miami Vice the end. Do it. Okay, now I loved Miami Vice, but, um, what? Drug cartels could give, I mean, these guys fought the drug cartels uh, for years on TV, and the whole basis was is that Ferrari was his undercover car. So you're going to give me a Ferrari? I really like Ferrari, but um, I don't know what the hell that message was. So then, uh couple days later, a day later, I guess, it says, remove this video and avoid problems. Now, the video I am supposed to remove is going to be this one here, lifting a VW Mark IV using an all-in-one kit, Beetle General Golf Deep Dive. So this is the video. That's the video that they are so upset about. It, it kind of stopped. Um, I started getting, um, I, I got a, 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 where they basically made a comment on my channel that was a clown. I didn't know what I was talking about. Ooh. You know what? If they made a comment and they just went on there and said, you know what? Are we did this? We did that. This is why it costs what it does. You're not going to get this from these things. You're not going to, I'd have been fine. I would have, I would have let it go and you know hey it's a difference of opinion it's a difference of perspective as long as it was was um professional and saying what they did i have no problem with that now when you're making threats with me you're not going to put anything on my channel but i want to show you just how stupid they are now in this video in this uh picture this is actually their um 
their information. Now, if you look here, it does have uh, VWLiftKits.com as, as the website. There's their name. Here's a bug that they use on their channel starting in 2016. This profile was started in 2016. But here's the thing. When you blow this picture up, it's got a license plate. Yeah, a Texas license plate. Like, are you serious? You actually put up something that identifies. These people are going to be able to identify you. You're using their vehicle if it's not your vehicle. Uh, here's here's the uh, the thing. Uh, you know, VW High Life is their their YouTube channel that we're talking about. It's all the same stuff. All using that as their in, website. Uh, this clown clearly has no idea what he's talking about. Again, they behind closed door publicly. They're going to just call me a clown behind. Them. They're going to threaten me. It's not going to go up on my channel. These people will not be allowed to post on my channel. Now, I don't know who you guys think you are. I don't know what you're doing, but I really suggest you not bring the drug cartel or the Mexican cartel into this because um, they don't like to be people taking credit for them and things. And it's kind of a big thing when you like associate yourself with organized crime and you're not part of the organized crime. And the organized crime, the first rule is don't leave evidence. Here's my message to VW Lift Kits. I'm not going to take your shit. Let it go and stop threatening me. If you continue to make threats, if something happens to my, my family or loved ones, if anything, you start going after and doing anything like that, I will make much, much more videos. I will also protect myself. And I have now put you and the cartel under a microscope. So let it go. If you continue for every time you threaten me that from the time this video goes live forward, I'm going to make more videos doing it. As far as I'm concerned, this is done. But I will continue to produce videos saying why people shouldn't talk to you, deal with you, anything else. And that's my, my promise to you. So let it go. Let the videos die. You'll still have your business. I'm a micro YouTuber. Not really that big of a deal. And be smart in the future. All you had to do was sit there and, and, expl and give a, an explanation as to why your product is good. Might have even retracted it. Might have even came on and did it. In fact, at one point, I was actually considering some of your other products. I just didn't like your, uh, I didn't like your kits. I thought they were too expensive. And that was my comment and why I couldn't recommend it. So be smarter in the future. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button to see if I'm still getting threatened. And we'll see you next time.